Everyone's not perfect. Even Justin Bieber needs some editing. Well, a lot of editing. But you can edit your tracks in Track Editor. Okay, we're gonna look at some basic editing tools within the next couple of videos, and we're gonna go through each tool one at a time. And we're gonna use a, a scratch guitar track that I had recorded earlier, and we're gonna fix it up. We're gonna pick out the best part from it, and then we're gonna loop it and make it into an um, actual structure of part of a song, such as a verse. Okay. So first, I'm going to zoom in because we're kind of far, far away. We can zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now I can see the numbers a little better as far as the measure. It's always good to know where you're at within a song and seeing the measures and beats and whatnot. Okay. Now earlier, I believe this is the, the starting point of the good part of the track where I didn't mess up. And... Let's go ahead and find that ending point where uh, where was a, an entire take of a of a good cycle. Okay, okay. As you can see, I messed up right there. But if you watch, what you want to do is you want to watch as the song is playing or the track is playing. You want to notice where your measures are. So I started at 16 and that was a good start. And if you noticed all the way until 24, that was the end of the cycle and it was a good cycle. So what I can do is I can go to 16 and cut make a cut in the audio track and then go to 24 and make another cut. Now by making cuts in GarageBand they're actually called splits. So one way of that going about that is place the play marker where you want to cut or split your track. Then go up to the edit button and you go down to split. Or you can use Apple T or Command T. So I'm just going to hit split and as you see, the two audio regions have split. The colors um, make a difference. See this darker one versus this grayed out one? The darker one means this is the audio region that I have selected. So if I wanted to delete it or get rid of it, I can just hit delete, boom, and it goes away. And then once I click on this, it's highlighted and that's the one I'm working on. So then I can just slide over to 24 and then this time I'm going to hit Apple T. Boom, makes the cut. And remember, this is the good audio part. So let's go ahead and select this part, the junk or the axis at the end that we don't need. Hit delete. And then there we go. We're left with our good cycle. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com.